and I'll do everything in my power to protect the American people from this epidemic of gun violence. But it's time for Congress to act as well. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. Got up early this morning, having a cup of coffee. And I took it upon myself and volunteered to go ahead and watch this entire address. I had to stomach through it. I probably threw up in my mouth about three times just because of the baseless BS that was being thrown out. I guess taxes and elevation this, elevation that. It's funny because people think that, well, no, they're just going to raise taxes on major corporations. That won't affect us. Well, what do you think that they do when corporations have to pay more in taxes? Well, they charge the end user more. Or I guess in the goodness of their heart or the government's going to tell them to go ahead and uh, you can't raise your prices because we've raised your taxes. Total BS. And in addition to that, it was kind of interesting how the mention of free stuff was just nonstop. So it's always interesting to see our country just explode right in front of our face. But we're here to talk about the items that I thought were important as it relates to the Second Amendment. And I went through and I pulled out a bunch of segments. We're going to be talking about, oh, I don't know, uh, semi-automatic firearms, standard size magazines, oh, uh, people who are not allowed to have firearms. Certain people is what he said. And I got to address each one of those. So here we go. I don't want to become confrontational, but we need more Senate Republicans to join the overall majority of Democratic colleagues and close the loopholes required in background check purchases of guns. We need a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. And don't tell me it can't be done. We did it before and it worked. They did it before and it worked. A ban on assault weapons, semi-automatic firearm, the most popular firearm in the entire country. And I guarantee you this, if you let them go one step, they're going to talk about registration because that's what he's talking about in his gun control plan. And talk about gun registration, they'll be talking Canada. Oh, hey, Mr. Public, Mr. and Mrs. USA, time to hand them in. Isn't that right, Dianne Feinstein? For these individuals, this is absolutely disgusting. And for him to sit there and tell us that the, oh, I don't know, a ban worked previously, there's no evidence that it ever worked to prevent any type of mass shooting or killing. As a matter of fact, in this country, the uh, semi-automatic rifle or sporting rifle is used the least in any killing across the country, statistically. Let's continue moving forward because this is getting better. Here we go. Talk to most responsible gun owners and hunters. They'll tell you there's no possible justification for having 100 rounds in a weapon. See, I don't know what's more sick about that whole thing, but watching Joe Manchin bounce his head up and down, because that makes me fear that he's in agreement with him. But I'd like to meet whoever these responsible gun owners and hunters who are talking about it's okay to reduce our capacity in our, in our firearms. Well, they're okay with five, seven rounds. That's not what the Second Amendment was made for. The Second Amendment was made for a tyrannical government to protect ourselves from, I don't know, it doesn't matter who I want to protect myself from. This is interesting. It just keeps getting deeper and deeper. But the guy sits there and he whispers like a grandpa, just wear a mask. Wear a mask. What do you think, deer wearing Kevlar vests? Deer wearing Kevlar mask. <laughs> <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, the Second Amendment, the thing that you and I are fighting for right now, was not meant for deer hunting, okay? And the problem is, is, next time they do this, if they go ahead and they ban these things, well, you deer hunters, guess what? He's going to come after your high-performance military weapon of war sniper rifle because that's exactly what that thing is. Don't kid yourself. These people will not stop, and they will chip, and they will chip, and they will chip until they get what they want. God bless America. I cannot wait for 2022 because this guy right here, he is burying his own grave. These kinds of reasonable reforms have overwhelming support from the American people, including many gun owners. <laughs> overwhelming support, including many gun owners. Well, the overwhelming support that these people are getting... Uh, is from people who live in the big cities. They don't have a firearm. They don't need a firearm. I mean, just the other day, I was talking about uh, Joe de Blasio, talking about how they've worked so hard to keep firearms out of the hands of New Yorkers. Isn't it interesting that those are the people who are basically saying, nobody needs a firearm. Well, the guy out there in New Mexico who's trying to keep his house safe from the influx of illegal immigrants, I think he would think differently. Or an individual like me who competes on a regular basis. Or a person like me who likes to make sure that I am protected every single day from something that could happen. 
polls showed that 57% of the people were all pro-gun control. And since this, all this BS happened with this guy right here, it's down to 50%. So when he says the majority of the people, the majority of the gun owners, he's a bold-ass liar. And no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. I, I, I bow my head down and I shake my head that our Constitution is not up for negotiation. It was written the way it was written because of people like this. People like this who want to take our rights away. I will say this, if you allow this to happen, our rights will continue to be diminished because government, big government, think that they know what's best for us and we should only obey. Just wear a mask, wear a mask. Certain people could not own those weapons Ever. Ladies and gentlemen, when I'm talking about certain people should not own or could not own these weapons, I'm going to put a link down below in the first line of this comment section. I want you to go to it. It's a PDF. You can read it online. And it's going to talk about who could not, certain people could not own weapons. Those were African Americans. Absolutely. The government, in this big infinite wisdom, is going to decide who can and cannot have a firearm. A total conflict with our Second Amendment. We're not changing the Constitution. We're being reasonable. I think it was Hillary Clinton who said that uh, there's no amendment or absolute and are subject to reasonable regulation. They have reasonably regulated our Second Amendment to death, and they want to continue to do more in an effort to take the firearms out of our hands. Like I said before, you have a firearm, you are a potential criminal. And you cannot be trusted with that because we, the government, know what's best for you. This is the crap we live through, ladies and gentlemen. 2022 cannot come soon enough. As I sit there and I look at those two individuals behind Joe Biden, their poor legs must have been killing them because I've never seen two women jump up as fast as they could every time they could. They're intent on taking away our rights one step at a time. They want to tax us to death. They want to give away everything for free to people who don't work. And there may be some people out there who absolutely need help. But for the majority, employers can't even find people to work because the government is more willing to pay them than people having to work. It's my idea that everybody needs the job and everybody needs to work. You may or may or not disagree with me. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. We always end them like this. I just had to do this video. It's about 530 in the morning. And, uh, ugh, I'm exhausted. It's Code of Boy 32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform who are there to protect us, the individual, the people of this country. Just like he said, we the people. It's not we the people. It's we the government. Because that government right there is the saddest thing that has ever happened to this country. I'm KB32, and I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.